Welcome back, dry this week. Yes, and mm. very interesting what is showing up in the extended forecast oh. through the next 14 days. It's the subject of tonight's forecast focus. We are going to start off with the temperatures, and this needs a little explanation and maybe a little misleading. Uh, we are looking out December 8th. 12th all the way to the 18th getting a little close uh, to Christmas uh, with this forecast it's showing a very strong signal of above average temperatures throughout the western United States but there's probably a little sliver cut out right here and down around Boise this does not take into account the temperature inversions that we end up uh, with during this type of weather pattern so we're looking at a big ridge of high pressure that's not going anywhere evidently for two weeks and that sets us up into a situation where we have very low high temperatures uh, down around freezing and we just sort of stay at that. So we are, don't think we are going to cash in on the above average temperatures. A very strong signal also of below average precipitation with this ridge of high pressure uh, in place. The storm track just to our east allowing all the systems to drop down into the northern plains and you may be saying and I have already heard what about La Nina this was supposed to be a La Nina year which is the exact opposite of warmer and drier than usual conditions and climatologically speaking meteorology winter is only four days old and so I would still betcha uh, that by the end of the three month period, December, January, and February, we are gonna end up with wetter and colder than average conditions. We're just starting off a little slow, but my money is still on La Nina. Your satellite and radar right now shows a um, flat ridge of high pressure. It's not keeping all of the clouds out, but it is allowing some dry air in, and so fog will not become much of an issue until we get later into the forecast. Here's a look at our upper level uh, uh, forecast as well as the surface features. There's that northerly flow bringing in the dry air and you can see this ridge of high pressure getting stronger and stronger over the next 24 hours and that is going to set up shop over the northwestern United States and apparently stay with us as I mentioned uh, for the Next two weeks, 30 right now in Spokane with cloudy skies, but it's clear and 29 right now in Coeur d'Alene. Taking a look at our national satellite and radar, we've got some wintry weather moving through the northern Great Lakes. Here's a look at our temperatures. Very interesting here. You'll see uh, temperatures in the 30s and 40s over much of the west. And then look at all this warm weather for the eastern third of the country. 72 in Kansas City, 65 in Chicago, 70 in Nashville, 76 in Oklahoma City. That is going to come to a screeching halt starting tomorrow. Big dip in the jet stream over this region. This is probably their last warm day. Uh, and one Arctic intrusion after another heading into that part of the country, while in the West, uh, things are relatively warm everywhere but Spokane, those darn inversions. And that not only brings up the possibility, well, the very likely uh, possibility of fog as the week goes on, our air quality may take a hit as well. There's already an air stagnation advisory in effect for the east slopes of the Cascades and the Okanagan Valley. And I think that will be expanded uh, as the week goes on. <laughs> there you go. All right. Easy travel. I. People gotta love that. Yes, but <laughs> you know, yeah. it gets a little tiresome. Oh, right. <laughs> I know a lot of people want snow, especially up in the mountains. Your family was skiing this weekend. Yes, as long as it's here by, you know, yeah, I gotta have Christmas. A Christmas. All right. Yes, we do.